my name is Celine Daniel. I I studied in Kerala, Pathanandatta. Then after my marriage, I went to Bahari. Then I worked there eight, 19 years. Sasa Nails, I was working there in Salmania Hospital. Then I resigned from there. Now we both, my husband and me, staying in my home. Last month, my husband got a stroke. Now I am always with my husband only. 2008, that time we were always walking. Then I was feeling heaviness. Then I went to hospital there. Then doctor gave some medicine, but it was not relieved that. Then he took an angiogram. Then he told there is two block. So they advised angioplasty. So they did angioplasty there. Then after that, nothing was there. It is okay. I was doing all the work there. Still, we were in Beharin only. Then this 2017, we came here. It was okay. Then last year, then I was feeling again little, little heaviness and all. Then we came to Dr. Mahesh. He did angiogram. Then he told to do angioplasty. Then this angioplasty done. He said that there is a three or five stent like this. It is difficult for angioplasty and all. Then my husband told only angioplasty, don't do bypass like this. Then my son also came. Then he did the angioplasty. It was very difficult. He said it was very difficult angioplasty. He said me there is new technology, this uh, dissolvable stent and all. We will put then it is no it is not available here. He said he will order somewhere. It is brought the next day. Then he put he applied that. It will dissolve like this automatically, he said. After the angioplasty, I was very happy and I was not thinking about anything. I was doing all the household work and all. I told, I explained to my friends and relatives about the new technology. But with the Dr. Mahesh also, every three months and six months, there is checkup. Regular medicine also taking and uh, walking exercise also. I, yeah, I want to live more with uh, the same health and all. Uh, she's about uh, 75 and she's already had two metallic stents put in USA uh, about say 20 years back. So they're practically well endothelized and stable. And she came with an acute uh, coronary syndrome involving the LAD, proximal LAD. So here again, uh, the advantage I'm seeing in her is that uh, the single metallic, that's metallic stents that's there already on single antiplatelets. So if I can tide over a period of maybe another two years with this, we can go back to the single antiplatelet that she was on and continue medications without loading her too much with antiplatelets. And the results with the uh, proximal LAD vis-a-vis uh, -vis the future developments uh, was I thought BRS would be the best choice. So she's also got a BRS done and she's also doing extremely well. The previous stents are already endothelized and gone. This also, then one year down the line, she's keeping extremely well. So this is another subset. The advantage of doing BRS, despite having a, a metallic stents previously, is that you don't increase the metallic load. The more the metallic load, the more the possibility of the patient going into a restenosis. A metallic stent has got anyway a 5% to 5 percent restenosis at the end of a year and 15% at the end of 5 years. Just phenomenal amount of restenosis. BRS, if you're cautious in the first 6 months, then you have it usually very well under control. Medically, I don't know much about. However, the treatment was very fine. Whatever they do, it was good to us. They, regarding the state monitor, what type of quality they were used, it is they know it. And what is inside to the heart, area, inter or any places, which I don't know. What I was looking to get my missus life, that she got it. The treatment is given nicely. However, treatment after she came, the life is back. I don't know how far, but still I wish that she should continue with me. That's what I pray.